there. Welcome back to my channel. In this episode, we're going to be talking about sets. We use sets for many different purposes in Python, but today I'm going to show you a very basic use case, but quite important for us to understand. If you haven't already subscribed to my channel, go ahead and subscribe. I'm publishing a lot of different videos on AI, large language models, ML operations, and heaps more. So let's get into this one. I've got my HackerRank platform on the left hand side. And I've got a Jupyter Notebook on the right hand side for me to be able to teach you this problem. So let's go to the symmetric difference. And let me just expand this window. There is a lot of explanation up the top of this problem. I'm just going to kind of skip them. But before I do that, this line is not any more relevant in Python 3. These days, we're all using Python 3. Raw underscore input goes back to Python 2. We don't really do it. And Python 3 does not understand it. So that has been replaced by the function called just input, not raw input. So let me scroll down to the task down the bottom. So here is the task. I will be given two sets of integers, so two sets of numbers. The sizes will be m and n, and they will be called a and b. My job is to find the symmetric difference, and I will run you through a symmetric difference very shortly, but let me show you the example because that's easier. First size is four in the example. So the first set, which is called A, will have four numbers in it, two, four, five, nine. The next size is N, which is again of size four. So I've got two, four, 11, and 12. The symmetric difference is anything that is either in A only or in B only, I will find that using a function called symmetric underscore difference, and then I will print them in ascending order. Let me show you how to do it. Let's receive size of m from the input function. But if you haven't seen my video on input function, the link is up the top right. In essence, input function gives you strings. Even if you put numbers in it, it will convert it into a string. So what we need to do is to convert it to an integer using the int function. Let's run that. The size is four based on the example. The next thing for me is to capture what is set a. Let me just start very simple. So. The user will give me set A in this format from the input function, but the problem is the output will look like a connected string of numbers. Let me show you how. If I run that, if the user gives me 2, 4, 5, and 9, as exactly in the example, if I print A, you will see that it's a connected string of numbers. That's not what I really want. How can I really break this into two separate, four separate, five separate, and nine separate as numbers? Step number one, you need to split the input from the user. Let me run you through. When I receive that input from the user, I will split it based on space. So wherever there is a space, there will be some splitting happening. Let's run this again with exactly the same input. So run that two, four, five, and nine. And if I do that and I run a again, you will see, okay, good news is that I have broken it into pieces now, which is great, but then they are still strings. I need to convert them to numbers. If you haven't seen my video on the map function, the link is up the top right. Map function is an advanced function for any Python developer. So let's use that here. So I will map the int function onto what exactly I had here. And let me run this again. Two, four, five, and nine. Once I press head enter and print it for you, you will see that it's a map object. And the last thing I need to do is to convert that to a set. Let's run that two, four, five, and nine. And print A. You will now see that this is a nice set of numbers, exactly what I need. I will do this for the set B as well. And I don't want to take, your, take a lot of your time. So let me just repeat this up the top here. And I will repeat both lines for N and B. So make that N and make that B because that's pretty much what exactly I will be receiving from the user. I can delete that and I can delete that. Let me run this one. This is going to be the M. So run that. What is the M here? Two, four, five, nine. So two, four, five, nine. That's good. M and A are done. Let's go to N and B. N is also of size four based on this example. And it's two, four, 11, and 12. Two, four, 11, and 12. Done. If I print any of them, for example, let's print A and let's print B you will see that I've got two sets of size four. This is brilliant. The only thing that I need to do now is to find a symmetric difference. For me to be able to find a symmetric difference is I need to use the symmetric difference function. So let's make a new function called symmetric difference equals a 
dot symmetric. And if I press tab, it will show me the symmetric difference function. And all I need to do is to feed B. So if I print the symmetric difference, you will see that the difference is 5, 9, 11, and 12. So sets are not naturally sorted. I just want to make sure they are sorted before I print them, because just in case it doesn't come back sorted. For me to be able to sort them, I will make a new variable called sorted symmetric difference. You didn't really have to do this. You could actually put a sorted on symmetric difference. I just want to keep this neat. So I will put sorted on symmetric difference and I will print sorted symmetric difference. And you will see that I will get a list of sorted 5, 9, 11 and 12. All I need to do now is to write a for loop and print them. So for item in sorted symmetric difference, print item. You will see that I will get 5, 9, 11 and 12 exactly like the code has it. So let me copy these across and see if I have done that correctly and if HackerRank is going to like it. But before I do that, if you enjoyed this tutorial, please hit the like button, leave me a comment with anything that is kind of difficult for you to understand, and I will get back to you ASAP. So copy these lines from here. I don't really need those comments. And now I don't need to print them. Printing was only for me to show you. I will need this line to find the symmetric difference. And then I will need this line for me to sort them. And the last bit is to print them using this for loop. So copy that and paste it here. So let's run the code and, if see, hack, and see if HackerRank likes it. Yep, HackerRank says, congratulations, you have passed the sample test case. But that was only one test case. Let's submit it and see how many different test cases we can pass. All of them were successful. So hope you enjoyed this tutorial. And let me know if you have any questions.